Soft Currency Economics by Warren Mosler Full Employment and Price Stability There is a very interesting fiscal policy option that is not under consideration because it may result in a larger budget deficit. The federal government could offer a job to anyone who applies at a fixed rate of pay and let the deficit float. This would result in full employment by definition. It would also eliminate the need for such legislation as unemployment compensation and a minimum wage. This new class of government employees, which could be called supplementary, would function as an automatic stabilizer the way unemployment currently does. A strong economy with rising labor costs would result in supplementary employees leaving their government jobs as the private sector lures them with higher wages. The government must allow this to happen and not increase wages to compete. This reduction of government expenditures is a contractionary fiscal bias. If the economy slows and workers are laid off from the private sector, they will immediately assume supplementary government employment. The resulting increase in government expenditures is an, is an expansionary bias. As long as the government does not change the supplementary wage, it becomes the defining factor for the currency, the price around which free market prices in the private sector evolve. A government using fiat money has pricing power that it may not understand. Once the government levies a tax, the private sector needs the government's money so it can pay the tax. The conventional understanding that the government must tax so it can get money to spend does not apply to a fiat currency because the private sector needs the government's money to meet its tax obligations the government can literally name its price for the money it spends. In a market economy, it is only necessary to define one price and let the market establish the rest. For this example, I am proposing to set the price of the supplementary government workers. This is not meant to be a complete analysis. It is meant to illustrate the point that there are fiscal options that are not under consideration because of the fear of deficits.